All right, so today we're going to do a pose called Astavakrasana. And all that means in uh, simple language is eight-limbed posture. Uh, so you're going to make eight, eight angles with the body. Uh, it does require some strength, but again, I would never tell you not to do it because uh, you have to try, otherwise you'll never know what you can do. I've chosen to use the blocks because, again, it lifts us up and makes it just a little bit easier. And Kathy and I are going to do this together, and uh, we're going to breathe. And so y'all can see different variations of the pose and where you can stop and practice. It requires a lot of openness in the hamstrings as well, so cultivate that um, and just breathe and have fun with it. This is a pose that you have a really good time with. All right, so you take your blocks and put them right next to your hips. You may have to adjust them uh, coming in and out of it, but that's okay. And what I want to mention too is when you do put your hands on the blocks, you can put them down so that the fingertips are gripping on the sides, but it's also beneficial to start to really use the whole hand. So eventually, if you're gripping the sides of the blocks, eventually start moving the whole hand uh, to the block. So you start with your legs out nice and long. And hopefully you've done some hip openers first. And you bring the right leg uh, up towards your chest. Good. And then you're going to grab on to this uh, right leg, and you're just going to kind of move the hip socket around a little bit. Perfect. And then you're going to take this leg, and you're going to drop it right over the shoulder or the tricep. And for some people, we get to this point, and they say, oh, I can't do that. Well, just try. You never know. And then you're going to put your hands on your blocks. And again, this is where you may have to move the blocks a little bit. And then you're going to push yourself up. Now, maybe this is where you want to stay. You just want to practice this right here. This is perfect. But if you want to try something new, go ahead and take that left leg and hook your ankles. And maybe you want to just shake right there. But you can stretch the leg out and then go to the side and keep looking forward. Because if you look down, that's where you'll go. Squeeze the thighs, squeeze the arm, breathe, and then come back and have a seat. Again, I'm Dana Leon. Thanks for watching J Fitness. You can find me at DanaLeon.com or the Yoga Tree House here in Camas, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to the weekly newsletters at the very bottom of this blog post. And please do check back next week. Thanks again. Have an awesome day.